Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork, and welcome to XCOM 2. I have been playing this one basically since it came out. Uh, I've made some headway in the game, <laughs> but it occurred to me that I haven't done an extended Let's Play in a while, and uh, this is just the kind of game to do it at. And if uh, any of y'all were there for my first XCOM Enemy Unknown uh, Let's Play, you'll remember why. This game involves a lot of kicking and screaming. I've never loved a game that eluded me quite so much. Every time I think about doing a let's play of a game I haven't played, one of them that comes to mind all the time is Dark Souls. And I know that if I'm, I'm still struggling in the darkness with XCOM, I am not ready for Dark Souls. So, Now this is one of my favorite parts about the new XCOM. I love how we get to sneak around to start with. I love the ambush quality of it. I think it gives the, the, the theme to the game, if you haven't already found out, uh, I mean, by now you probably should have, but you know, we, we, this takes place in apparently the canon universe of XCOM where we just got the shit kicked out of us. There was no way we were going to beat the aliens, and, uh, and so we are more of a covert strike team Okay, we're going to blow up that monument. Um, we're more of a covert strike team than the big overall force uh, that we were in uh, the other one, which I think is awesome because it makes the game way more interesting. It also makes the game gives the game a new level of challenge. So this is our first mission. So I'm going to try and do some ambushing. Set him up on Overwatch here. Overwatch. Put you right Let here. Now. You're on Overwatch. Cover. When these go according to plan, my God, they are lovely. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. One down. All right, so they know we're here, so they're gonna scatter, which means that we get to use our Overwatch, which is just lovely. Two down, three down, awesome. I love it when all goes according to plan, which, to be fair, in this game is not crazy frequent. All right, let's have you run in here. Set up the C4. Or what is it? X4, I guess. It's, it's that many letters more powerful than C4. Confirmed. And we'll just cover you. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. And that, as they say, is that. All right, so now we gotta neutralize the rest. We forgot that's not all we gotta do. <laughs> gotta kill the rest. So I'm gonna wait for everyone to catch up with me. Yeah, the, I mean, the, one of the best parts about coming in undercover when you're concealed is that it means that as long as you, I mean, you can't just run anywhere you like. Um, you can still be found out early on, but Moving if on. you, you know, it, it, you don't creep along quite so much as it, if you played uh, XCOM from a few years back, you, you spend the first few levels just creeping and crawling and going very, very slow and, and you're basically trying to activate the little pods of aliens as they come about, which it can be a pain. Um, but this form of it is very nice indeed. So I'm gonna have him set up for Overwatch. Overwatch. 
the aliens in this are so much tougher. God damn. Uh, so much tougher than the aliens in the first one. They're just, you deal with, you'll see what I mean, but you deal with mind control right off the bat. You deal with, your, your soldiers panic so much more easily now. Stuff like that, and my god, man, it just... Ooh, I got really lucky on that one. Uh, it, it really takes some getting used to, which is why I've, I've invested quite a bit of time into this game so far, and I have not gotten far, like I said. Uh, there's plenty left for me to do, so I thought it was kind of perfect timing for me to... Now that I've, I've got my feet wet, so to speak, with this game, I can... Uh, I'm familiar with the game, I can move us forward, I'm confident in my ability to get us through the first few episodes, but I'm also green enough that it will be quite entertaining for you to watch me just lose my fucking mind later down the line, which, that, that is coming, that train is never late. Alright, I'm just gonna throw a grenade at you, fucker. I uh, have also gotten to the habit, it used to be, when I'd play XCOM in the past, I would, when they finally um, promoted uh, in, into some form of specialty, I'm going to blow you the fuck up, I'm just a second here, um, that was when I would customize them and everything like that, but it is so easy to lose people and get burned so much faster in this version that I, I don't I don't even really bother customizing them until like they're two maybe three levels in and it doesn't hurt that you get better customizable pieces the higher level they are which is a very nice touch um, so that helps but yeah it is hard to name some of these characters after friends and family and whatnot even harder than in the past this is more on, like, darkest dungeon level, why am I bothered, bothering to customize you stuff. It's that same level of just, you win and you, you feel every victory you get in this damn game. And it makes you crazy. So, it's worth it in the end. But already you can tell that they put a better coat of paint on the game, the characters look better. The shooting feels cooler. It just it just has a better sound to it, better boom 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 quality to it. It's it's visceral. I like it. So we've got an airship now. All right, everyone's getting promoted. Awesome. Which I think means, if I remember correctly, means every every one of the specialty classes will be revealed. All right, specialist. Basically, the support guy. Um, you can use the, that's called a gremlin, little little drone guy. He can use it for healing purposes, and he can use it for combat purposes. I've pretty much always gone down the uh, battle medic thing with this guy because we need healers like nobody's damn business. Ranger, which is your assault guy. Now this is a cool thing that they've added in. We've got swords now. Kind of a hack and slash a little machete, which is awesome because you can just run straight up to the guy and cut him down. Uh, which is a nice, nice feature. Shotgun's still really effective and fun. And they also later on will have abilities that they can stay under concealment and that kind of thing. Our grenadier. This is basically our, um, our heavy in the game in the past. Doesn't have a rocket launcher. Uh, he uses a grenade launcher instead, which is still pretty cool. And finally, our sharpshooter, the sniper. Still my favorite class. Still have a blast with these guys. And their pistols are badass. Just like freaking gigantic magnum desert eagle looking thing. It's freaking cool as hell. And, uh, he can get gunslinger abilities, which means, uh, which basically adds up to him being able to use his pistol for free and stuff like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, I still tend to go down the sniper road with him, but it's still a cool, 
ability. All right, so we're bringing back some corpses. Commander to the research lab. All right, research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab. Such I took a computer chip out of my nose. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we my nose. found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell. Now that is another really interesting thing that they're doing with this. You, you, you get scientists, you get engineers, just like in the other game. However, you get, as opposed to where is it before you could get you would earn eight extra scientists from doing a mission or some damn thing. You get far fewer scientists. You get one scientist at a time, one engineer at a time, and they each have names, and with scientists, I think they just cumulatively increase um, the speed of research. But with engineers, you have to assign specific engineers to specific projects, which is kind of cool. All right, we're going to start with modular weapons because that means we'll be able to upgrade our guns, which is very handy because there is a looting system in this, which is sweet. Because if the aliens are going to be overpowered as fuck, then okay. we need to be overpowered Reworked as fuck. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Okay. So we've got our. We have no engineers, so we can't assign anything, but we can build You'd items, that kind of thing. Medkit start is a good thing to have. Flashbangs, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, smoke grenades. Also cool. I'm actually going to make I'm glad that. Now, the smoke grenade is one of those things that everyone can have now instead of just your support, which is cool because. While they, they did have some creative things that they did with the smoke grenade in the first one, that was kind of lame as a secondary ability for the support guys. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Central's looking a little Resources worse for wear time these days. Are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. And this is one of my favorite 
differences between this and the original XCOM. Whereas before we had full access to the entire world and it was basically a matter of keeping all of the countries and the continents on our team and not leaving the XCOM project, um, now we are seeking out resistance uh, we are mapping off pieces of territory. We start out with nothing, and we're looking to gain the entire world, which is really, really fucking cool. Uh, and so here, Avengers, you've got you your little airship here, and we go to different things, and you investigate, specifically looking into those things. And you can get different rewards for it. So, for example, checking out the resistance here, there's a, we've detected some activity, and we could get a scientist if we check it all out. All right, our modular weapon research is done. Awesome. Like I said, we can upgrade our weapons, and eventually we'll be able to uh, research magnetic weapons, which are really good. And we're going to go into alien biotech, because that's pretty important. All right, let's finish this one up. All right, so we got Dr. Fiona Murray, scientist. See, see what I mean? The scientists, instead of just faceless numbers of people, we don't have the population or the resources that we did in the first one. So it's very much from the ground up. So each scientist has a name. Each engineer has a name. Um, it, it's kind of fascinating, and, and it really works. Thematically, the whole thing's tied together so well. So our research speed's increased by 33%. Awesome. Now we can check this one out, and our reward will be we can get some more rookies, which is awesome. How many times have I said awesome? Like 1,400 times? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right, new target acquired. We're going to go start some shit, ladies and gentlemen. So this has been the first episode. We're going to keep this going on a daily basis as far as I can uh, before the strain of having to lead people who look and sound and act like my friends causes my mind to crack. In the meantime, in between time, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, tell your friends. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear what other games you'd like to see me play. Uh, otherwise, check out some of our other cool videos. I just put up a review for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, we've got some other fun stuff coming your way. But otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.